Hello and welcome back to the weekend, if you are new to the channel please kindly subscribe. Julius Malima is fighting a losing battle, and it may end the existence of the economic freedom fighters. It has been a very promising political party, but it doesn't look like it will be in existence for eternity. There are many things that Julius Malima could have done differently to show that he cares about South Africa and its citizens, but he chose to do the opposite instead. Malima wants Africa to have a single president and be united forever, something that makes me think he's no longer thinking straight, or maybe he's not a very realistic and reliable person. It seems like he is living in a dream and lately, his decision-making has been very poor. He said Africans must find creative ways to enter South Africa during the COVID-19 restrictions and he didn't care how that would affect South Africans because he cares more about clout and foreigners. When those Africans find those creative ways to enter South Africa, they commit crimes, but they can't be arrested because they are untraceable. We have to share our scarce resources, clinics, hospitals, etc. with them, and that inconveniences us. He said Africa is one, and the borders are boundaries put in place during colonialism. This makes you wonder why he and the F decided to protest at the Swaziland border instead of going into Swaziland, because they believe that Africa is one and borders don't exist. They respect the Swaziland government and they couldn't find creative ways to get into Swaziland, but they encourage other Africans to not respect South African laws. The F recently sided with foreigners during the Operation Dujula protests, and it became clear to many South Africans that the F is fighting for foreigners and not South Africans. They want to do what is best for foreigners, they value foreigners more, and they would do anything to get attention. They always change their minds about things, and it shows that they are inconsistent and not fit to lead the country. They are fighting hard to become the government of the country but unfortunately, they are fighting a losing battle because South Africans have seen their true colors. Hope you enjoy the video and please don't forget to like, subscribe and comment.